in this lesson, what I want to do is I want to pass some commands. What kind of commands? DOS commands over to the operating system. And I want to do this from Python. That will be cool. In order to do that, I need to import a module called subprocess. And now I'm going to key in the command subprocess dot check underscore output open friends and the square brackets. And I want to pass it a command that will type out the data in a file. What file? Well, over in my uh, D drive, in my, and I have a directory called ADHD. I have two files in there, ADHD1.docx and psych1.txt. And I just put in some a few lines of text there. ADHD is a serious syndrome that needs attention. Oh, okay. Let's quickly keyed that in for this lesson. And I, I want to type that out. I want to type out the contents into my Python idle screen. All right, that's that's a plan. So I can subprocess dot check output and open parens square brackets and now I want to pass it the command I want it to do. I'm going to put that within single quotes. The command is type. And what do I want it to type? Well, in the D drive, slash, colon, slash, slash, in my ADHD subdirectory. Oh, notice how that pops out. Isn't that super cool? Slash, slash. I have a file called Oh, there it is. Psych1.txt. Single quotes. Close square brackets. Comma. And then I can shell equals true. Close parens. Well, there's my guy. Let's, let's see just how well this works. And I hit enter. And oh, wow. It says ADHD is character turn line feed, a serious character turn line feed syndrome that character turn line feed needs attention, character turn line feed, which is exactly what I have here. ADHD is a serious syndrome that needs attention. It's just including the carriage return line feeds. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Hmm. Okay, so that was the, the type command that I passed to the system, to the operating system. And I told it what command I wanted it to, to do, type. And then I told it what file, the location and the name of the file I wanted it to do it to. Okay, that's that looks nice. Can I do other commands? Well, yeah, you can do other commands. Let's do a tough one. Let's get a directory listing. That should be cool. All right. Um, first, we'll do a directory of my entire D drive. That'll fill up the screen real fast. So I'll key in sub sub process dot check underscore output and then open parens square brackets and I'm going to pass it the command in quotes dir single quote comma and I wanted to do it to my single quote entire d drive single quote close squares comma shell equals true Close parens, and here comes the parade of hits.
Oh, no parade of hits. Where did I go wrong? Oh, no. What did I do? Has no, <laughs> has no attribute. Check out output. <laughs> okay, we get a little bit of a spelling problem here. <laughs> out output. Uh, it should be output, I believe, unless they've made revisions in the system. <laughs> All right. Bad spelling. And now I corrected it from out output to output, and I hit enter. And bingo. Great hits. Lots of files. All the files in my D drive. And you can see there are lots and lots and lots and lots of them. They don't look very pretty. It's a pretty ugly format, but out they come. And that's the command. Wow. You know, I'd like to see that on a smaller scale, though. So I can do some work with that. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be very nice. Let's do that. Let's um, hit the Enter key here. And there's my command again. Subprocess.check output direct directory. But this time, let's do it to my ADHD directory. And that's it. Just to my directory there. And let's see what I come up with. Oh, more manageable. And what do I see here? It said volume in drive D is D A T A da 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 directory of D ADHD character turn line feed character turn line feed then the date yada 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 and then directory and ADHD one dot d o c x that's my first file adhd one dot d o c x my second file is psych one dot t x t here are my two files adhd one dot d o c x here and psych one dot t x t so there you go they're both there what if i took that command subprocess dot check output but this time I assigned it back to a variable x equals that what type of data would that be I wonder let's let's find out what type well first print x And that worked fine. But what type of data is X? And bytes. Wow. These are bytes. Huh. That's interesting. All right. And uh, I think that's about, uh, that's about all I want to talk about today. So we, what did we do? We, we passed off the, we passed the type command and the dir command off to the system from within Python, and we grabbed the data that it returned back to us and displayed it on the screen. And that's about all I have to say right now. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.